have coconut oil in my hair, on my face. Um, we have a big night tonight. Tonight is a wine tasting night at ours that we're hosting. There's eight of us in total. Um, I've told everyone to bring a specific country for wine, not a particular grape. That's hopefully what we're going to be able to guess. And um, so everyone's bringing that shortly and I'll be able to pop them all in the bags so that no one knows what's what. It's like a blind taste test. Oh, this has just gone really bright. Sorry, my greasy face is horrendous. Um, anyway, we've got a lot of prep to do. We baked all the bread. I stupidly didn't vlog any of it, so I'm sorry about that. So you'll have to see the end result when it all comes together. Really hope you enjoy it. I've made these really cute leaflets and um, to stick on the door outside and on the table. And I've also made the wine tasting note card as well. So I'll show you how I've done that. It was just really simple, just did that on Word. And then I'm really looking forward to this evening. I enjoy a wine tasting night. This is the third one we've done. Each one we do like different food for and completely different, um, what's the word, completely different theme. So this time we're doing countries. I'm doing the food from every country. So everyone's dropped their wine off. I've put them all in the canvas bags, which correspond to the correct color. So as you can see, we have a total of eight wines because there's eight of us. Um, someone is bringing one from every country. So I've basically just said, you know, one person in Italy, one France, one Australia, things like that. Um, I've left it up to them to choose whether they want to bring red or white. And one person is also bringing a non-alcoholic. So hopefully we'll be able to tell which is which. That's the idea anyway. We all love wine. Don't claim to be a connoisseur of it, but we'll see. So these are the sacks. They're just like Hessian sacks that you can get from Amazon. Um, Chris will take the lids off all of them, obviously, so no one knows what they are. So I'm really looking forward to it. We have so much prep still to do. We did a lot of it yesterday. Um, it tends to go really, really quickly, the day of prep. So, or the day of the event, shall I say. So I'm not too sure how much I'll get to vlog, but I will do my best to bring you all along. I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, hopefully it inspires you to do your own wine tasting night. So just to talk you through how we're doing it, um, French is going to be obviously brie, camembert, um, freshly homemade baked bread that we did last night, pumpkin shaped, which is really cute because I wanted to stick with the fall theme as well. So that's going to be the French cheese and bread really. Italy is going to be bruschetta and then mini little skewers of mozzarella, basil and tomato and lots of prosciutto hams, things like that. So on the Spanish one is also Catalan bread, which is basically um, like a crostini, but with grated tomato on it. Sorry for this angle, I'm struggling holding you. Give me a moment. There we go. Um, yes, so ignore my face, I'm sorry. I do have a, a mask in my hair and oil on my face. Trying to hydrate for tonight, because I guarantee I'm gonna be very dehydrated tonight after the amount of alcohol we consume. Um, yes, yeah, so Spanish is going to be Catalan bread, Manchego cheese, uh, Spanish olives, and I can't remember off the top of my head. I've looked at so many different bits of food recently, I forgot everything. Mexican is nachos, basically. Loads of different guacamole, uh, sour cream, salsas, things like that. Um, Australia, the only thing I could think of for Australia was shrimp, because, you know, throw a shrimp on the barbie however you say it. Um, so I've done some shrimp and the other thing is I did used to work with a man that was Australian and he brought in this bread it's like bread and you scoop the center out and you put a spinach dip in it so I'm assuming like he brought that in as, a, as an Australian speciality so I'm assuming that it is Australian so I'm going to use that and I've also got a mini little part of Vegemite because there wasn't really much I could think of for Australian food. American it was pretty easy. I just wanted to do kind of fast food. I was trying to find mini sliders, like mini burgers. Couldn't find them anywhere. And I also really didn't want to be cooking food whilst people was here. I wanted things that would be fine to eat cold. So I've gone for barbecue chicken wings and um, mac and cheese bites. Just simple, like greasy, fatty food, really, with America. Um, it's what I associate it with. English, I've gone for like cheddar cheese, Cheshire cheese, um, Danish blue. Danish blue, is that Danish? I don't know. I assume it's English. Anyway, the cheese I've got that's blue cheese is an English one, but it just made me think the way we say Danish blue. It's not, it's definitely blue cheese. And um, just some accompaniments like celery, grapes, 
apricots, like dried fruit, a bit of dark chocolate, nuts, things like that. Got lots of nice crackers. Um, so that's the English one, really. Oh, and pork pies, that's another thing. I'm vegetarian, so I will actually eat the pork pies, but I'm sure someone will. Um, what other country do we have? So we've done France and English, Italian, Spanish, Australian. There are two more countries and I cannot for the life of me think, oh, is it Chile? Is it Chile? I can't remember. I, luckily, I have the flags for every country too. But one of them I know is empanadas. So I didn't make them. That was a bit of a cheat. I bought those. But everything else is homemade, even down to the bread, like we've done it all. So it's been a bit of a tiring night last night. So I'm excited for tonight. Just want to try and relax as much as possible before all the chaos starts. I have a couple of hours yet to finish off um, and then get showered, get prepped. And I'm really excited. I've got my family over from Canada. We've been doing quite a bit with them. They went to London to see the ABBA show. Chris and I had already watched that, so we didn't go. But my mum and dad and my other auntie and uncle, they went and they all had an amazing time. My cousin and her friend from Toronto have also been in Dublin for a couple of days. So they're back and staying with us tonight, the night of the wine night. We've been to Manchester with them. They've been to Chester, been to York. They've been here, there and everywhere. So they've been having a good time. Um, so my cousin Zoe and her friend Kate go home tomorrow. So that will be difficult for them, a flight after the amount of red wine and white wine we're gonna consume tonight, I'm sure. And then Donna, my auntie, goes back to Ottawa in Canada on Monday. We've had such a nice time. It's been amazing seeing them. We usually meet up once a year, normally on holiday. We tend to meet in the Caribbean. Just it's a lot um, easier for them to get there. And we're always happy to go to the Caribbean. So we actually recently saw them in January this year as well. We were all in the Dominican Republic. That was really, really nice. We went for New Year. So we flew out on the 29th of December, which I've never done before. I've never been away for New Year, but it's going to be my new thing. I absolutely loved it. My hand is struggling holding you. So I'll chat to you in a bit. These are the flyers that I've made. So I'm going to have them dotted around just on the table, also on the front door, things like that. I really like this group therapy in session. I thought that was funny. Just made it on um, Word, just pretty quickly. So I've just finished making the wine tasting paperwork. So we're gonna guess what country we think it's from out of the flags above. So we have Spain, England, France, Argentina, America, Italy, Australia, and Mexico. So yeah, here we're gonna say what country we think it is, what grape, so like Malbec, Merlot, Shiraz, what price we think the person paid for it, we're grading it, grading it one to 10. That'll just be personal preference. And then notes. So for instance, like I think it's sweet. That's how it's gonna look. I just need to print these off. And uh, we have the eight different ones. So I'm gonna print that and then everyone will have one. I'll put the name on the top and we'll see how everyone does at the end. Hello. I thought I'd quickly jump on and just talk you through a couple of bits that I didn't show you earlier. So I do have everything prepped other than the table. I need to set that completely and put all the different um, countries of food on. Before I do, there's a few little accessories that I bought that I thought I'd show you because they're really cute. Um, also, I've moved the lights up here. What do we think? I'm not sure. I keep moving them around. I'm playing around with them. So let me know what you think. I've moved them about five times already back and forth. So tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, so firstly, this I just wanted to show you. It's a candle and it's so heavy. It's like a proper wine bottle. It's really sturdy. I've not lit this one yet, but I have had one in the past. It was from Amazon. I think it was about £12 um, and I really, really liked it. This is the one that we've lit. After I lit it, I thought, oh, what a shame, I should have just kept it. So I ordered a second one. So I've got both of those that I'm going to lay out on the table. I also have this, which you'll be able to see later. You basically stand a bottle of wine on it lengthways, so lay down, and it looks like the wine is spilled. So that's a cute little accessory. I have some daft things that are like novelty. So ring for wine, like a hotel bell, a bit retro. I thought that was quite fun. I also have a similar ring for wine. And then again, sticking with the trend, this says, top up my wine when this candle is lit. As you can see, I've lit it before. So these, like I said, are just gonna be dotted around just to add to the theme of the wine night. These, I actually have a few of these. I think these were a set of three. Well, maybe they were individual and I bought three. Yeah, I think that's probably more like it. They were actually quite expensive. I think they were £15 each, but 
I just thought it's the kind of thing that you could keep. It's made out of proper glass. It's um, like a wine bottle, just cut in maybe a third. So I really like that. I put a little tea light in it, but I've done the flameless one because last time I did it with an actual one, this got so hot. And when I took it off, I completely forgot that there was a candle inside it and the heat on this, I burned myself. So I've learned my lesson and I'm doing it with flameless. So I have now, I think seven of these. I bought loads. I really like them. And I like dotting them around the shelves, on the table. Just adds a nice cozy atmosphere. Then I also have just these little beer mats. This one says, I just rescued some wine. It was trapped in a bottle. These are quite cheap. Again, these are online. You tend to find nothing like this in shops i don't think so amazon is just really cheap and easy for it this one because cheese and wine go so well together this one says sweet dreams are made of cheese who am i to disagree so that's really sweet too i think that will go nicely with the theme and speaking of cheese i also have this cheese candle this was from a local market in cheadle which is where i live in manchester so I loved that last time and I lit it and thought I'll get another one so we can have these dotted around. Last time I actually had this lit and someone tried to cut it so <laughs> I'll have to warn them this time that it is not edible, it's not real cheese, it just looks like it. And um, that's pretty much it. Oh one more thing. This one again just a little candle, red wine Merlot which is nice. I've already lit this before, it smells amazing. I wouldn't say it smells like wine though, it smells very sweet, but I don't think it smells like a Merlot. But I don't mind because it will look cool on the table, it just adds to the ambiance. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. I just need to quickly get changed, set out the table with everything, and then the guests will be here in an hour. I best get me on. This was everything. Sorry, it was such a quick video. Everyone was stood around dying to dig in, so I had to make it as quick as possible. Hopefully you can pick out all the different countries that we went for. I will have them listed and the food that we prepared for each below. guest has just left Chris and I have just cleaned up February is back to normal pretty much Zoe and Kate are asleep in the spare room they have their flight tomorrow morning really early we had such a nice night and um, the favorite wine I think was Italian it was Chianti and it was organic it was really really good it was actually only 12 pounds so that was a good price the worst wine was the most expensive which was interesting that was £25 for the bottle and it was a white wine and it was English 
and honestly it just smelled like chemicals as soon as we opened it we just all smelt it really really fake strong smell tasted disgusting and we all estimated it probably cost around four to five pounds so when it was revealed 25 pounds it was crazy so it just shows you that the most expensive wines are not always the best ones so thank you so much for watching we had such a nice night thank you for spending time with us and i look forward to seeing you again in my next one